Oh, I love that so much. Oh. Phyllis Logan is here. You look so different. So different from Mrs Hughes. You really do. Blame Lee in you're makeup. A, for <laughs> you're a glamour puss. You're a glamour puss. <laughs> so tell me about this, this red lipstick idea. We've all to wear a red lipstick, yeah? Yes, it's, it's tomorrow. Right. Red Lippy Day. Dementia UK are running a campaign basically to help us get more admiral nurses. Right. We've already got about 160, but by the end of the year, they want, we want there to be about 200 because they help join up all the services that are required, the social care great. side, the health care side. They also give great um, practical support as well as moral and psychological support mm. to the families and carers who are dealing with sure. dementia uh, and their loved ones, obviously. So this is the whole campaign and that's the whole idea. You put on your red lippy, you pucker up and you donate, which you'll be able to find about out about later where you can donate to. It's just a great idea. We'll stick it all on our website it started, because it's so easy. You know, it's, it's one so of these easy. things that's so easy to do. Yeah. It was started by Jules, one of the fundraisers, because her mother, her dear mum, has vascular dementia and, and she always wore red lips and looked uh, glamorous. Oh, what a lovely idea. So it's, you know, to think True. of all these lovely people who and you know from personal life experience before. because your mum you know it's well difficult. my mother had vast uh, she had um, cognitive impairment and was losing her memory mm. quite rapidly by the there she is oh. and my brother and sister i had blonde hair then it looks ridiculous oh, i was so right i think you carry it all famous do you think so yes, I do. we all look very alike don't we <laughs> very much so you look the <laughs> double of them of everybody but as you would expect yeah, as you right, would expect sure. anyway yes and my my so that was my, my dear mother and my brother, my sister and I uh, helped care for her yeah. in her latter months. We had to trot up and down to Scotland, but I mean, it was no hardship really. Um, and my sister who, who lives here, she was uh, stalwart in the mm. whole proceedings. And my dear mother-in-law had Alzheimer's. Um, Kevin's mum so yeah so you've really got... been you know you've really known what it's like but isn't it great to do something you know the way that Downton has been so successful that oh, you can do these things I know you know it's you, been you can and it's brilliant and, I mean as we said you just got back from uh, from Australia I know. and they've just uh, so they they were very behind us then so that's it just finished. quite yeah, yeah it's literally just finished season six the the final season mm. well there we are oh <laughs> there's your new lovely man I know. oh it's fantastic it's great and of course he was in Downton as well I a horrible person playing and nasty piece yes. of work a right nasty piece of work but yes no that was great fun oh, too. very very good what about this movie do you think it's going to happen hmm. be good i it? don't know it don't would know. be great i'd love to do it i think yeah. i think a lot of us would we'd you know one last hurrah who could say no <laughs> to know. that it would, it would be lovely actually and i think i think if everybody wants to do it then yes it will happen yes I'm so sure. it's not off the cards yet no 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 entirely not at all. but not at all. so who knows we're all waiting desperately no, absolutely here. absolutely what i loved about about you and about your character was as i said you look completely different you would go to america and um, because the yanks obviously loved it of course they did but you'd go to america to all of these glamorous events and i bet no people would think who is that gorgeous time. woman i know well i mean <laughs> no, not part, gorgeous what part yes. did she play in downtown <laughs> because you know you were on the red carpet that just well, must have been great fun though phyllis it was fantastic that. fun. I think the first time that we, when we, we won a SAG award, I Screen know. Actors Guild Award, yeah. and that, I, I made the acceptance speech, but a lot of people were saying afterwards, but this is an actor's award. Why have they got a producer making the speech? You know, with the, <laughs> so I, look, look how well, beautiful. Well, I mean, you know, just the fact that I've got a bit of slap on because Mrs. Hughes never was never allowed. Did you not any. have to go? You were to go into makeup and be made under, made rather under. than made over. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so we have to put about twenty years on you. Well, not quite. It's just <laughs> the lack of makeup and then in a rather unflattering wig of, of the time I know. shoved on the head. So, but know. she was a good woman. I liked her. Did you yeah. like her? Because I oh, really liked yeah. her. Oh yeah, she was great. She started off a bit of a nippy sweetie. She was a nippy sweetie. She but, was. I, but then I think we discovered that she. she actually did have a heart very and was a so. very kind yeah. person but uh, she could that's still be I'll... a nippy sweetie too could still be, that's what we like about her but that's yeah. what was so lovely about the fact that we had such a long time to find out about all the characters yes. yeah and that makes it really good he's so brilliant julian yeah he's and as you said ready. red lipstick day is tomorrow Red lipstick. Has John Barrowman put on his red lipstick? Listen, we've got a few. Keep yes. watching, viewers. Um, 
a certain dick here has uh, yeah, applied Richard, the bit of the red, Mr Barryman. <laughs> Is there no end to that man's talent? It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. He does so, so much. It's absolutely brilliant. Good luck with red lipstick day. Um, I'll definitely be doing that. Good, and it's tomorrow, you. as we know. Yes. And we'll put all the details on our website so people know exactly what to do and how they can help Thanks, this amazing Lorraine. cause. Thank you. Always a joy to see you, Phyllis, and give my love to your incredibly handsome husband. <laughs> I've got a bit of a thing for your husband, I have to say. Have you indeed? Yes, I have. <laughs> Keep off, <good> <laughs> Let him know, let him know, though. It's, it's just, you know, from afar, I'm admiring. <laughs>